everybody. Here we are all ready to take you down to Pine Ridge for another visit with Lum and Abner. Brought to you by the makers of Horlicks, the original malted milk. And now, let's see what's happening down in Pine Ridge. The Lum and Abner store on wheels is progressing nicely. Caleb Weehunt, the local blacksmith, has begun work building the new body of on Abner's old car chassis, and they hope to have their rolling grocery store ready for business within the next few days. The new business venture is causing quite a lot of comment in Pine Ridge, and all those who heard Lum's announcement over the party line are sending in their suggestions for a name. As we look in on our old friends today, we find Abner over at Dick Huddleston's store, apparently still enthused over the prospects of the new enterprise. Listen. Oh, I just can't hardly wait to get started. <laughs> I believe this is the best idea we've ever started up yet. Well, I do too, Abner. I think you're going to make a lot. Wait a minute, there's Lon now. Yeah, well, he, he said he'd be over here back day, just drop by the blacksmith shop to see how Caleb's getting along building the store. Good uh, morning, Lum. Yeah, hello, Dave. Uh, how's Caleb getting along, Lum? Oh, uh, all right, I reckon. He's got the body took off of the car now. He's very smart of a job, too. Yeah, Abner was just telling me if you traded the old car body to Caleb to build your store on there for you. Yeah, that was a good deal I made there. <laughs> well, we don't have no use for the Sudan body now, and he's going to put it on his spring wagon, you know. Yeah. <laughs> well, I sure hear a lot of talk about your new store, Lum. Oh, yeah, this contest we're having to get a good name first got them all to talking about it, I reckon. Yeah, Elizabeth and Paul set up half the night trying to think of a name for her. <laughs> well, we can't let them in the contest, Abner. This is just for folks out on the party line. Well, they're out on the party line. They heard that announcement you made yesterday. Yeah, but we couldn't have none of our own relations in the contest. If it was to win, somebody might accuse us of showing favor right. No, I believe Lum's right about that, Abner. Wouldn't look right for a member of your family to win one of the prizes. Why, of course not. Well, what about me? I've got some names studied up, but I want to send in. You have? Yeah, about two or three. Uh, Abner's Moving Market and uh, Peabody Stopping Shop. Well, I can tell you right now, them wouldn't win if you was to send them in. It ain't going to be Abner's or Peabody's nothing, as long as I'm a half partner in it. Well, you ain't going to pick out the names, no way. That's what we got the judges for. Yeah, but they ain't going to leave me plumb out of it, I know that. Now, what kind of a name did you have in mind, Lum? Well, I don't know. <laughs> 
tell you the truth, Dick, I just ain't thought much about it. <laughs> I wanted to call it Lum's Limousine, but Abner never liked the idea. Started fussing about it. Yeah, and I don't blame myself for it, neither. We thought we ought to have something different, you know. Stores going to be different from anything they've ever had here in Pine Ridge before. Yeah, yeah, sure. It's being a store on wheels that way, well, I ought to be some good names suggested. Yeah, I've heard some pretty good ones already. Folks are thought up, you know. <laughs> Sister Simpson stopped me on the street this morning. She said she sent in the name, uh, what was it, uh, Pine Ridge Runabout, I believe she called. Well, <laughs> <laughs> well, sir, now that's a pretty good name she studied out for. <laughs> well, it ain't hard. Body gets to thinking about it. It's a wonder I never thought of that myself. You might call it the servidor. Yeah, you call it the what, Captain? The servidor. Service at the door, you know. You'll be going from house to house with it. Hey, Granny, that ain't a bad idea. No. <laughs> you ought to send that in, Dig. Servidor. <laughs> well, oh, it's a lot of fun studying up names. Yeah, I wish I could get in the contest myself. Yeah, me too. I thought up a good one last night. I forget what it was now, but good name, sir. I know that. Well, I ain't saw Luther Phelps, Mom, but I bound you he's pretty mad at us for going in business again in this way. Going in business again? Yeah, he's been running that peddling wagon of his for years, you know. Well, this ain't going to be no peddling wagon. Luther's just got a handful of groceries and dry goods there and swaps it for chickens and eggs and stuff like that. Ours is going to be a regular grocery store, handle everything. Same as we did in the Jotham Downer store. Sell for cash. No, no, this shouldn't interfere with Luther's business very much. We don't get over the territory about once every two weeks anyway. No, this will be just the same as the business we've always been in, except we'll take the store right to their front door instead of them having to come to town to do their shopping. Well, sir, I can't see any reason why it won't be a success. Like I said, I'm just afraid she will do too well with it. Take a lot of my business away from me. <laughs> well, now, we don't want to hurt your business none. Uh, uh, we'll sort of stay away from your regular customer. Yeah. Oh, well, I'm just kidding about that. It won't stop at their house. <laughs> well, you go right ahead and get all the business you can. You've got a good idea here, and I want to see you make a go of it. I'd like to have a store like it myself. <laughs> well, sure, right now, everybody I've talked to said the same thing, too. Yeah, we more than likely never would have thought of it if Snake Hogan hadn't asked so much for the jot him down for what we couldn't buy it back. <laughs> yeah, there we was. Trying to figure out some way we could sell that car I had to buy a store with, and all of a sudden I got this idea. <laughs> Instead of selling the car, we just build a store on it. <laughs> well, now, that's a big, powerful car. That ought to be the very thing for it. Oh, yeah. See the advantage to having a store on wheels that way, Dick. We, we can have a store in Pine Ridge and Odin, Mount Ida, and Cherry Hill, all them places. Get done work in Pine Ridge, we can move over to some of these other towns. Well, sure, sure. Uh, sure I'd love to drive over to Belleville someday and drive up in front of Evelina's folks' house and blow that horn. <laughs> she don't know nothing about it, Chief, you know. Now, wouldn't her eyes bug out whenever she seen me and Abner with the priders of it? Well, now, let's don't try to work Belleville with it too long. Take us all day to get over there. Well, I ain't just said I'd love to do that. Yeah, and you more like the will, too, before the thing's over. Well, you folks can work all around this territory here. You know, you can stop between these towns, between Old and Mount Ida. You can stop at all these farms between them. Yeah, I just thinking whenever we hear about somebody putting on a big sale, like over at Mount Ida, we might drive the truck over and back right up again here store there. Why, sure, just stop right in front of them, put a big sign on our truck saying, Main entrance to the sale, something like that. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> you about just run out of town, you try something like that, too. Yeah, I might do it. But now, you won't be able to drive very fast with that big load on there. You'd not turn that thing over in a ditch somewhere going between these towns if you try to make too good a time. Yeah, it would be bad. Turn a whole store over. <laughs> That's what you'd call a quick turnover on our merchandise, wouldn't you? <laughs> oh, <laughs> well, now, if you plan on driving these other towns around here, you're going to have to be careful how you build it now. Not get it top-heavy. Well, it's going to be a whole lot like the Jotham Down store, only not quite so big. I don't think the Jotham Down store is top-heavy. You mean shape just like a regular store building loan? Yeah, here, yeah, I've got a picture draw to here showing how it's going to look. Yeah, here she is. Just a regular store on wheels is what it is. Yeah. Oh, I see. You mean to have the customers come right inside the store to trade, huh? Why, sure. They can walk right inside and pick out what they want, just like walking into your store here. Oh, well, now, Lum, that won't work. Why, well, you'd turn that thing over the first day. Then you don't need it that big. I figured you'd have it shaped more like one of these big buses that go through here. They could still walk inside of that to do the trade, you know. Mm, trouble is, though, they wouldn't know it was a store. Well, you have the name on there, have a big horn or a sign, they'd know it's a store, all right. Ladies, maybe you're right. 
Well, I'll go over and talk to Caleb some more about well, that. Well, Lobby, you better make the now friend over the party line about that contest before you go. Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot about it. Mind if I use your telephone a minute, Dave? No, sure. Help yourself up. I want to get over there before Caleb gets all that lumber and shingles bought. Well, why don't you have it built out of tin, now? You go to trying to haul a plain building around on a car that way and shake all the pieces. Wait a minute here. Somebody already talking on the party line. Well, I'll be dead, but come here. Huh? Listen. Don't forget it.